Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will share with you some craft stick decor ideas. They're super easy to make and very inexpensive. So let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. For this project, I'm going to be using this square shaped dowel. I purchased it at Home Depot, I believe it was around a dollar. And then I'm also going to be using these uh, popsicle or craft sticks that I got at a crafter squares. There's 60 pieces in it. So this dowel was 32 inches. So I mean, sorry, 36 inches. So um, I cut it in four pieces, nine inches each. And I'm just going to a little bit um, sand the edges, nothing too much. After that, I um, took nine craft sticks and I separated them um, evenly on top of two of these sticks and now i'm gonna start hot gluing them in a place if you're recreating this you can certainly use any uh, glue you can do wood glue if you want i am very happy how it um, works with my hot glue it is fast and it holds up pretty well now that one piece is completely done i'm gonna create another one exactly the same now that I have two pieces, I'm going to um, put them together. So what I'm going to do first is put two sideways and put craft sticks um, to attach like to each other on the top. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So starting on the top and the bottom, that way it will make it more sturdy and I will be able to evenly um, attach all the other craft sticks. So I was led by um, the craft sticks that I have on the side pieces to know where to attach the rest of them. Okay, now that everything is done, this is how uh, this looks like. It's starting to um, looks like a lantern, right? So now I'm gonna take four more craft sticks and I'm gonna attach them on the top. First two um, on the side. I'm just putting a little hot glue on those um, square dowels and I'm gonna put two across. That way the top will be nicely finished. Now, if you wanna create a base, you can certainly do that. I left it uh, out. Now I'm taking this uh, faux leather ribbon from the Dollar Tree in a camel color and I am cutting it in half. So I'm going to double it up. I'm going to put a hot glue because I wanted um, both sides to have a letter. And now I'm going to hot glue it on the top. So one end on one craft stick and then the other on the other one and it's creating that kind of a loop looking handle and i'm going to also put these push pins or actually i'm going to hug them because i cut off the push part <laughs> the needle part and that's it for this lantern i absolutely love how it turned out i didn't want to stain it or paint it i left it as it is you can certainly uh, change that also, can you imagine how beautiful it, it would look like if you put LED candle in it, in it how uh, it would illuminate light? I think it will be perfect. I didn't have any candle to show you. I apologize. Also, you can leave it as it is or you can put some flowers in it. I think it's just absolutely perfect. So easy and so inexpensive. Cost me only $2 to make. I want to thank Karma for sponsoring this video. Karma is a free app that allows you to save items from other sites, get notified when they go on a sale, view coupon codes at a checkout, and also earn cash back. And the, the only thing you have to do is download their Chrome extension. There will be a link in the description box. So go ahead and click on it and that will lead you to the downloading. Karma recently changed their name from ShopTagger. I like Karma better. It is a shorter name and it's easier to remember. Also, it represents the beliefs that they have, which is the more value they bring, the more they will receive in return. I have been using Karma for a while now and it saved me so much money, especially for my crafting supplies. For example, this camera that I need for my YouTube channel, I uh, purchased when it was when i was notified that it went on sale and it saved me so much money so it is definitely worth it trust me 
Now, there's few things that I really like about this website. One is that you can create your list. So anything that you like, anything that you would like to purchase, just put it in your list under a certain categories and you can find them easily. I really like that feature. These lists not only only keep me uh, organized, it also keep me from impulse buying, which we all know it happens. So another feature that I really like, of course, are coupons. When you find a product that you want to purchase on a certain store, you go on um, the right top corner and you will click on that Karma um, little icon and that will show you what is it offer at that time. Also, it, you can set up the preferences uh, to get notified when it goes on sale and also you can put it on a list that I talked about earlier. So when you go and go on your checkout, when you're ready to check out, Karma will automatically put the coupon code it will scan the coupon code for you and it will be ready for you to check out how awesome is that last but not least is cashback i really really like this because while you already shop things on sale you also get a cashback and it tells you uh, how much cashback you get from each store you can also set up your preferences uh, how to get notified um, when something's going on sale so personal and also retail preferences make sure to do that in your settings now i want to remind you one more time go ahead in my description box and click on the link um, and that way you will get started i highly recommend this it saved me so much money over the years let's start with diy number two the first thing i want to do is take 11 craft sticks and I am going to uh, put three next to each other and I'm going to take one that I'm going to weave through. That's going to be on the bottom. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. Just the opposite. You know how you do the weaving. You can see what I'm doing over here. And I'm going to uh, repeat that until I am out of the craft sticks. And the more you put, the more sturdier it gets. Also, when you're finished, you can certainly adjust all the craft sticks easily. Um, They're moving very easily and you can create the shape you want. Now that I'm done with one, I'm going to create um, three more. After that, I am taking eight craft sticks and um, I put them close to each other. And then I'm going to take two more that I cut off the ends from and I will attach them uh, towards the ends. So that is going to represent my base. Now that the base is done, I'm going to go ahead and take each uh, piece that I already created, those weaved uh, pieces, and I'm pushing them down because I wanted the bottom to be flushed uh, or actually straight. And now I am uh, going to attach them together in an L shape. And as you can see, I actually uh, turned them on opposite sides so that the craft sticks can uh, kind of interlock with each other and I'm using Jenga block to attach them that will be the easiest way to attach them and I'm doing that to all four of them creating a square piece after I was done with that I am going to add a uh, hot glue on the bottom of those uh, Jenga blocks and that will help me attach this to the base now that is not going to be enough, so I'm taking two more Jenga blocks uh, glued together and I'm hot gluing them on a side and on a bottom of um, this new created planter. Now that I have all this done, it is time to uh, stain it. I decided to take this um, Waverly Antique Wax and I'm starting to stain it. First I used a foam brush and it was okay, but since I didn't pre-stain these um, craft sticks, it was hard to get into all the nooks and crannies. So later I got smarter, so I took the paintbrush and it was way easier to do with paintbrush. Now, if there was any uh, space left between, I was not mad because it looks more rustic and more old. This is how it looks like when everything was stained. Oh my gosh, I love this. But you know that I like rustic. So I decided to go ahead and get this Waverly chalk paint in a color silver lining. That's very, very light gray, almost white. And a chippy brush. And I am just distressing it all around. This really gave this basket looking um, feel. And I, I absolutely love it. 
I'm very, very satisfied how it turned out. So I'm taking these two bunches of um, tulips and I'm just putting them in. And that's it for this project. I had this in my mind. I don't know how I came to it. You know, my friend Heidi Sombol sometimes said, it came into my in my dream. And this probably happened to me. I just had a vision and it came to life. And I absolutely, absolutely love how it turned out. But I really want to hear what you guys think. Also, again, this was very, very inexpensive. It cost me only a dollar to make. So I made it with one package of craft sticks. Friends, if you're returning, I want to thank you for all your support and thank you for being here for me for every video I upload. Also, if you're new, welcome. I would love for you to stick around. I'm Yelena, stay-at-home mom of two kids that love crafting, doing DIYs on a budget in a rustic and farmhouse style. So I hope you would like my you will like my videos enough to stick around and subscribe to my channel. Find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. If you're on a social media, come and say hi. I would love to get to know you. Also, I want to remind you that my regular upload times are Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Unless there is some kind of change, I will let you know in advance. DIY number three. This is super easy project and for this I am taking, I believe, 11 craft sticks. Anyway, I took enough that I can take one extra and just glue on the edges. And I did the same thing on the other side. So now this part is done and I'm going to take this Waverly chalk paint in a color ivory. It is very, very similar to the wood uh, color, so it will not be visible, but I really wanted uh, this piece to be painted rather than stained. When this was done, I'm going to take the um, Martha Stewart chalk paint in a color clay and I will dry brush it with a chippy brush just to give it that dimension. When I was done with this, I'm going to take these stickers from the Dollar Tree. I already used previously this bicycle sticker and I really liked it. So for now, I'm going to uh, use this um, bunch of flowers and I'm going to also use uh, the words uh, live for today. I put them on my sign, I stick them down and then I'm taking these uh, round raised stickers and I'm going to give them one coat first uh, of the Waverly chalk paint in a color ink, then I'm going to do the truffle and I'm going to um, add also this copper acrylic paint and that will create that um, kind of an old rusty uh, look to it. Now that everything is dried, I'm going to go ahead and attach them to uh, that craft stick that is um, those two craft sticks that are on a side. Now these are um, stickers, so you can stick them, but I wanted to uh, reinforce it a little bit with a hot glue so they stay on for sure. Now I'm taking uh, my chippy brush and this paint that was on it from previously um, using it and I'm just dry brushing it over these stickers to make them blend in more and then I'm taking a little bit of jute wine and attaching it with a hot glue to the back and that's it for this project this project turned out so so cute it was very easy to make it cost me less than a dollar to make but I love it it is such an easy way to add a decor to your home if you like this project and this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me and it helps my channel being promote, uh, promoted on YouTube. Also share it. And if you're new, subscribe with the notification bell on to all. Um, that way you will not miss on any of my future videos. I want to thank you all for being here. Tell me which one was your favorite and would you recreate any of these? And I want to thank Karma for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go ahead in my description box to check out that link. See you in my next video. Bye guys. With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your
your favorite song 